And there went the Prickle Barrier. What you just saw was strategies to not use in Mega Man X8. Hello everybody and welcome back to Mega Man X8. I'm Kira Khan and thank you for joining me. Blah, 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 I kind of flubbed that line. Okay. This time, we're bringing X with us. I want his long jump, just in case. Or, not long jump, high jump. Because this level sucks. <laughs> I don't like this level at all. Okay, that's not true. I like all of it except for, like, one area. Uh, I like the gravity mechanic, but there's... There's a part in this stage that just... Ugh. I'm sure all of you know which stage... Uh, or which part of the stage I'm referring to. So yeah, I, I might die at that point. I might die in a few spots, but that's... That's probably the one that's going to irk me. Boop. I love doing that. Sometimes I'll just kill them the old-fashioned way, but sometimes it's it's fun to just drop a block on their heads. Switch over. Because now I don't have to try. Oh, jeez, I hope you can't hear my stomach making those noises. Partially because that's not even my stomach making those noises. This part's cool. I could get those, but since I don't need them, I'm not even going to bother risking it. I'm just going to let the level play out normally. Man, that's cool. Also, ah, uh, see that? Ah, uh, oh, I didn't reach it from there. Derp. This was one of the most annoying secret items in the game. You need a fully charged crystal wall to get it out. Ah, here's the part. Uh, I don't like this part. Okay. As you probably figured, this part can go wrong very easily. And it took me so many tries to get past it the first time, and the second, and the third, but surprisingly this time I got through it just fine. Go figure. There is a thing over there, but I don't need it because I've got all the upgrades, but... It requires some tricky maneuvering to get to.
Whoops! I did not mean to do that. Okay. Nice. Made it through, no problem. I do have my prickle barrier still, I think. Ow. Oh shit! And there went the prickle barrier. What you just saw was strategies to not use in Mega Man X8. Luckily, as you can see, these things can't even hurt me. Fully Armored X has some serious bullshit power-ups. But it does make him, you know, feel like he's useful again. Okay, to be fair, he was fine in X6. Uh, but he, he was kind of, uh, he was kind of a butt monkey since X4. I imagine he's a pain in the ass towards the end of X6. Just the parts I played with him as were alright. Okay, yeah, I just remembered this guy's weakness. He's actually easier with X, I think. No, wait, maybe he has easier with zero. Ah, it doesn't matter. He's easy. It's all good. Everything's good. He's having such a bad day. Oh! Okay, I think that's just... Whoop! Yeah, it's that one. Ah, I can't get him from there. There we go. I probably could have with a, uh, an air dash, but whatever. It worked out. Bye, bitch! on the items found thing, a different color? That's weird, right? And for once, you guys get to see me use the shop. Prickle barrier. That's so weird. I could have sworn you could get the uh, alternate versions of X and Zero there. But I guess not. That's okay. There's no doubt in my mind now. This whole incident has Sigma written all over it. There's a typo. Where is he, anyway? It's obvious that Sigma's involved, but things are bound to be different this time. It doesn't seem as if he's controlling these new Mavericks like puppets. They all seem to... be him. Do you mean copies of Sigma? I'm... not sure. So far, all the sites attacked have been related to the Jacob Project. I'm picking up the transmission!
Dun dun dun. Sigma. Long time no see, X. You just don't know when to quit, do you? Don't worry, X. It'll all be over soon and we'll never have to meet again. All the primitive space development of your world now belongs to me. Haven't we been to space in like every game since X4? in the sky. Your old world has outlived its usefulness. Maverick scum, what's your scheme this time? Scheme? This is providence. I'm merely ushering evolution along its natural path. <laughs> evolution? So Sigma was really after the Jacob Project all along? If you stop to think about it, it makes a lot of sense. Space development and the emergence of new generation reploids aren't unrelated. So, he's causing these new generation reploids to go maverick, huh? We can't let him get away with this. Sigma's transmission was disrupted by the orbit of the satellite. This is lucky. The elevator is still functional, so we can use it to get to him. Okay. And I think with that, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you come back for the next one.